Limiting the number of liquor stores. It's something one Middle Tennessee city is considering. Welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Haley Wilgus. Bob Mueller is off tonight. Clarksville City Council members say they're getting lots of feedback on this proposal. The sponsor of the ordinance says it's a measure she hopes would cut down on the more than 500 DUIs Clarksville saw last year. News 2's Nikki Miki has more on the number of liquor stores the city is considering. Nikki. Well, Haley, Clarksville currently has 13 liquor stores with one more permit pending. Council member Wanda Smith says she'd like to pump the brakes before adding any more to ask if the city actually needs them. And this measure came up during Thursday's executive session. Today, Smith tells me she now plans to postpone this ordinance until September, but still wants to build support in the meantime. Let's evaluate this. Is there good qualities in opening more liquor stores? Ward 6 Councilwoman Wanda Smith would like to put a pause on opening any more liquor stores in Clarksville. One of the biggest reasons she cites are DUI numbers she's seen, some of which involve teenagers. I get upset every time I see another teenager uh, that has lost their lives because of alcohol. I, I'm hurt because it was an early death that could have been avoided. Smith has reviewed DUI numbers with Clarksville police that show 554 DUI violations last year, including five DUI related fatalities. In the first four months of this year, another 218 DUIs, including two DUI related fatalities. It's a lot of things that are going on that we can, we as legislators can, can stop. We just have to make the right choice. Although Ward 9 Council member Karen Ward appreciates the sentiment behind this ordinance, she'd rather see the focus beyond where liquor stores are placed. My concern is that we don't allow them to be concentrated into our lower income or vulnerable communities. I'm also concerned if we concentrate them that we would push out um, being able to attract a grocery store because many of these areas are also um, food deserts. Managers at 931 Liquors do support the pause from a business perspective, not wanting to see the market become oversaturated. You know, I get we're growing exponentially, but I think the more time we have to evaluate the situation, the better before we just jump into adding, you know, new licenses. Councilmember Smith said the suggestion for this ordinance did come from a liquor store owner. Another council member pointed out that he was unwilling to give up one of his two liquor licenses. However, Smith says he wants to keep his stores open due to the money that he's already invested in his stores. Haley.